uh, once again good morning now we have this theorem this is a corollary to our race lemma and this is a theorem regarding the finite dimensionality of a space if a normed space capital x has a has the property that the closed unit ball m is equal to collection of all x such that norm x less than or equal to 1 this we have already defined the closed unit ball ingena closed unit ball compact aanengil that normed space is finite dimensional so we start the proof so you assume that the set capital m is equal to collection of all x belongs to capital x such that norm x is equal to 1 is compact and to show that x is finite dimensional so we assume the contrary that dimension of x is equal to infinite now you choose an x1 belongs to capital x which is in fact an element of capital m such that norm of x1 equal to 1 then this x1 is non zero so this x1 generate a one dimensional subspace say so capital y of capital x and y is a proper subset of capital x because x is infinite dimensional and y is one dimensional and we have already observed that every finite dimensional subspace is closed we have learned the result therefore capital y is closed so capital y is a closed and proper subspace of capital x so we we apply ray's lemma see y is a closed and proper subset of capital x therefore by ray's lemma there exist an x2 belongs to capital x such that norm of x2 minus every element of this y which is generated by x1 is greater than or equal to some theta if for any theta we choose theta as half so norm of x2 minus y greater than or equal to half for all y belongs to capital y where capital y is generated by x1 so in particular x1 is an element of capital y so in particular we have norm of x2 minus x1 greater than or equal to theta now you consider the space capital y generated by these two elements x1 and x2 then this is two dimensional but not equal to capital x because x is infinite dimensional and y is finite dimensional so it is again closed so again by an application of ray's lemma we get there exist x3 belongs to capital x such that norm of x3 minus y is greater than or equal to theta we take theta as half norm of x3 minus y greater than or equal to half for all y belongs to this y in particular x1 and x2 are two elements of capital y therefore norm of x3 minus x1 greater than or equal to half norm of x3 minus x2 greater than or equal to half so we repeat this procedure so when we repeat this procedure what we get is we get a sequence of elements so we get a sequence xn such that norm of xn equal to 1 and norm of xn minus xm greater than or equal to half for all n not equal to m so what we get is a sequence in capital m because norm x1 aaguna point galde collection aanu capital m nammal ippo kittiya nammada points galku ellam norm 1 aanu therefore we get a sequence say sequence xn in capital m which is compact such that norm of xn minus xm greater than or equal to half for all n not equal to m so by the very construction of this sequence 
this is equal to xn cannot have a convergent subsequence karanam e sequence nagatha edu rendu term eduthalu adu nammala distance is greater than or equal to half so this sequence cannot be a cannot have a convergent subsequence angane or convergent subsequence undengil adinte artham sequence le terms nammala distance should be less than an arbitrarily small number epsilon after a stage പക്ഷെ ഇത് ഏത് സ്റ്റേജ് അങ്ങ് പോയി കഴിഞ്ഞാലും ഈ സീക്വൻസിലെ രണ്ട് പോയിന്റുകൾ തമ്മിലുള്ള ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഈസ് ഓൾവേസ് ഗ്രേറ്റർ ദാൻ റിക്കൽ ടു ഹാഫ് ദർ ഫോർ സീക്വൻ എക്സൺ കനോട്ട് ഹാവ് എ കൺവെർജൻറ്റ് സബ് സീക്വൻസ് ബട്ട് ദിസ് ഈസ് ഇമ്പോസിബിൾ ഇൻ എ കോമ്പാക്ട് സ്പേസ് ഇൻ എ കോമ്പാക്ട് സ്പേസ് വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി നോട്ടീസ്ഡ് ദാറ്റ് എവറി സീക്വൻസ് മസ്റ്റ് ഹാവ് എ കൺവെർജൻറ്റ് സബ് സീക്വൻസ് സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് എ കോൺട്രഡിക്ഷൻ ആസ് എം ഇസ് കോമ്പാക്ട് ദർ ഫോർ അവർ അസംഷൻ ഈസ് റോങ് ദർ ഫോർ എക്സ് ഈസ് finite dimension karena x infinite dimension aanu nammal assume cheyada mathram ingane or sequence umayittu namukku mumbottu povan pattu illengil evadengil ee sequence ang ninnu povum so avada prashna illa karena pinne adu constant sequence aayittu venangil namukku extend cheythu poga avada prashna illa adhe samayam x infinite dimension aanengil we get a sequence in capital m such that the distance between any two terms of the sequence is greater than or equal to half so it cannot have a convergence of sequence violating the fact that or contradicting the fact that m is compact therefore x is finite dimensional and with this we end module 1 and in the next class we begin module 2 okay thank you